Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So tonight I'm going to do an experiment. Um, not quite sure how this is going to turn out, but that's the fun of doing experiments. So I have mixed up um, orange with Floetrol in white with flow troll and black with flow troll so i'm going to do a kiss pour but i'm going to have orange and white in one cup and black in the other and as i pour it i'm going to do a twist so i've done a twist kiss pour before but i'm going to try it with these colors because I, I like orange but I didn't want to just have orange and black, so I thought I'd add some white into it to kind of give the orange um, different tones of colour. So what I did was, um, in the black, I have 53 grams of black, a paint, which is um, Eraldo de Polo, and 123 grams of Floetrol. In the orange and the white, I've got 27 grams of paint, and 61 grams of Floetrol. So works out to be the same. And that is all I'm doing. Oh, and it's actually a global orange because it's my old orange. I don't use orange a lot. So that is my old one. Um, but the other two are Eraldo Di Polo. So I'm just trying to figure out. Um, I think I am going to do the orange and the white instead of layering them i think i'm just going to do a dirty pour of the white into the orange so that is what i think will work best i'm unsure so i'm going to hold it up high so it really mixes in with it Okay, so there we go. That's the white and the orange mixed. That was my quickest mix I have done like that before. A few bubbles, I'm just going to see if blowing them because I poured it from a height, um, a few bubbles got in there with it so that's just a mark on the canvas I probably should have used different cups um, these are very very full but oh well this could be a disaster this could work out to be amazing I'm really unsure about this at the moment Um, gloves, I think. I think my hands and nails are getting dirtier and dirtier every day after all this paint that I keep getting stuck in the cracks of my fingers and under my nails. No matter how much I scrub them, I always get little bits left over that I can't get rid of. So I like orange, but I, I have difficulties using it in pores. So we are going to start on this angle and we are going to oops, kiss them. And I'm just going to rotate myself. Oops, that's not, I'm going to keep my feet steadier, I think. This is a little bit harder than I first thought. I think the cups 
um, are a little bit full. So I'm just trying to rotate so I don't get a completely solid black side and a completely solid orange side. I want them to mix a little. And kiss pores can be a little bit difficult because you're so busy watching the kiss part you actually can't see what's happening on the canvas underneath you. And because I'm rotating, I'm trying to keep the cup steady and even. It's not always as easy as planned. So I'm just still rotating back and forth, trying to get orange lines into the black side and black lines into the orange side. Doing my best. Cups are getting a bit low, so it's getting more difficult. Okay, I'm going to stop there. <coughs> Okay, so I do have orange in the black side and black in the orange side. See how at the moment I've got these peaks. So each time I twisted one way, it would come in and come around and come in and come around. That's what I was hoping for. Now, the hardest part is going to be is trying to keep them as they are. without muddying everything up too much. So I'm just going to do some slight rotations. It's going to start going off. I think I might go, I might tip over a corner. So I'm just going to go slowly. Once it starts going over, I gotta go that corner, so I go a bit quicker. Now I'm gonna go both the orange side first. So I'm just watching it as it goes, I'm starting to lose it at that end. So I need this end to kind of go. Okay. So now I'm just bringing the paint back to this side. My I can never work out which I am pretty bad at knowing my lefts and rights in the first place. I'm a bit dyslexic. Well, I am dyslexic. Um, it's probably why I'm a bit artistic. So, we're going to go over this corner. And then I'm going to come back, but not a lot, just a bit. Alright, that should be enough. And then head down this corner. OK, 
Okay, paint, you can do it. Come on. Over the corner and back. So, sorry I'm off camera. I just got to bring the paint back into the middle. Now, I'm going to stop there for a second and just make sure that I can put the black on the black corners while I have only black fingers for the moment and some orange on these orange actually that's a black corner I'm gonna go black on that one so now it's just a matter of moving it until you've got it where you kind of want it to be i think i've actually got it where i want it to be because you got to remember these lines that i've got here yep that these lines are in a pretty decent shape. If I tilt it too much more, I'm going to make them into unusual shaped lines. They're not going to keep that kind of circular pattern. So I don't really want to move it a lot. Um, where I mixed the orange and the white together, like down here, I've got some nice cool um, kind of cell or paint effects from the colors mixing. I've got tads of white that are kind of coming through with the orange in this side. So this is different. I don't think I really want to alter it too much because I don't want to change these shapes. So I'm going to take my gloves off while I can. I can't put my hand over the top of the canvas to point at things while I've got gloves that could drip onto it. So the reason I'm not going to tilt it anymore is these circles are in a decent line. When, if I start tilting more, they're going to get these ones, which aren't so much in that circular pattern. And I like these that are in this circular pattern. So I'm going to leave it like that. Kind of got a few fingerlings or things going off this side. This is unusual. It's not a masterpiece by any means, but it's kind of cool in its own way. And I'm not even sure which way I would prefer it. Probably that would all that either that would be a top or these would be a top. You would never have that as the top, I don't think. Um then again, you kind of could if you wanted to. I feel like it looks a bit like a solar flare, kind of the sun's shooting a solar flare into the dark space. Um, I really wasn't too sure what I was going to paint and it was getting late. Um, I'd finished work. I'd gone to visit a friend on the way home from work. So I didn't have a lot of free time tonight to organize and think of what I was going to do and I didn't want to continue I didn't want to do another flip cup I didn't want to do a swipe because I've done both of those recently um, and this was something that I thought I haven't done a kiss paw in a little bit and I wanted to do it slightly different I like to mix things up a little bit and you know what if they turn out really good, then you continue to do them. If they don't turn out good, you go, I won't be doing that again. And this is, this is not too bad. Oops. Gas torch has been a flamethrower. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit and make sure that I've got any bubbles in there out.
Okay. So I'm actually going to call this um, done. So I'm hoping it actually dries pretty much the way that it is now. Um, I don't really want a lot of changes in it. I kind of like how I've got effects over here and then it's kind of a bit more sparse over here but you've got the beautiful deep orange lines going through the black. It's different and sometimes different is actually good because you don't want a whole bunch of paintings that all look identical. I'm just making sure that I'm scraping these edges. Alrighty. So, ultimately, that's it. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, it's not... It's not boring, I wouldn't say it's overly exciting, but at the same time, it's still a, a nice a nice piece. So I'm gonna pause you and bring you down for a closer look. Okay, there we go. The colors aren't coming out the best because that's a bit more better. It's hard to get it, the camera kind of changes the color when it's trying to focus. But this is different, really different. And I don't know, I'm, I'm finding it quite interesting. So these, you're going to see my reflection in the camera. These lines with the orange coming through, they're quite well defined. You've got some white um, bits that are popping up. It's not focusing, it's too reflective. There, we've got some white bubbles that have popped up through the colours. You come over to here and there is a whole bunch of different effects. The white celled up by doing the dirty pour into the orange and that's showing mostly on the edge. We got this couple of little streaks that are coming up and spinning around. And that's the center which is mostly um, orange. So I see this as a pretty cool solar solar flare kind of look there's a flare coming off with its fingerlings going through yeah i'm a bit more surprised about this i wasn't really sure how it was going to work out i was i was actually thinking oh maybe i've picked a disaster but it's not a disaster it's just different so that is tonight's pour. Tell me what you actually think. If you think it looks cool, um, and let me know if you think uh, it's a bit of a um, one not to do again. It's it's good to know. But this is tonight's pour. So um, share, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave comments and have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye everyone.